All right, guys. So here with uh, our analysis. So this is one from our one of our tops updated update series uh, mega boxes. So the ones we have today are Bob Gibson, Felix Hernandez, and then Jordan Montgomery. Jordan Montgomery, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on. He's going to actually. I'm going to close him out, so I'll put him down for now. Um, and then it'll be Felix. So we're going to start off with Bob Gibson. Bob Gibson is you know obviously flamethrower from the '60s. Uh, if any of you have not watched him, please go and do it. Bob Gibson is the best example of kind of, if, if you ever heard the phrase, uh, you know, finish out front, you know, that cue, you know, oh, you got to be ready for the ground ball. Bob Gibson is the best example of why that's not true. <laughs> so Bob Gibson, you know, high 90s, hundreds, you know, ago, given it's the 1960s, so who knows, but hard throwing guy great mechanics you know longer looser but everything has such whip to it such power like even you so this one this card specifically talks about the 1968 campaign where not only a Cy Young award effort by Gibson but a historic one in which his 112 ERA broke Walter Johnson's all-time record of 114 in a season of at least 300 innings which is absolutely insane so if there's any if there's anyone to really look at when it comes to mechanics for someone who's looser in their limbs and their joints, Gibson's the one, especially when it comes to not trying to control it. So for the guys who say, oh, you can't throw hard, you can't locate, clearly Bob Gibson is the difference because the man threw hard and obviously was good enough to have a 112 ERA. So Bob Gibson, I love watching as far as when it comes to mechanics of just being loose and just letting everything go. So that's that would be my recommendation for anyone trying to look for a guy for that. Next up, Felix Hernandez. King Felix, God, I feel like he's been in the league forever. Unfortunately, no longer a Mariner. This is one of those things where, because I don't know, especially it's an all-star game card. But King Felix, as an Angels fan, I have always respected Felix, partly because I think we also, if I remember correctly, we always did extremely well against him. But Felix was, it was a guy that I kind of always had, one of those guys that you see, like, never made it to the series, like, even the playoffs, because he was a Mariner, never really got there. But, you know, one of the absolute, you know, most consistent pitchers in the MLB for years, you know, pretty much you know his best pitch has always been considered his change up this is actually a great picture when it comes to if we're looking at kind of like the t-spine and how because felix when you look at his videos he's actually kind of a high three-quarter guy a little more over the top than some but the reason he's able to do that is because like you look at the shoulder line he gets extremely high up, and that's because he stays in line here. That's why he's able to stay pretty good when it comes to injuries, as far as I remember. And you can see, you know, really gets in deep there. So King Felix, you know, guy, great guy to watch, you know, as far as the changeup goes. But yes, definitely someone that kind of wished was able to go a little more when it comes to his team. Uh, but obviously, great pitcher to watch. The last one, so I got to be honest, for Jordan Montgomery. I had to look up this guy because I'll be honest, I don't like, I'm not a Yankee fan. So like, as far as guys in their system, I'm not a hundred percent sure on, uh, went through a few videos, looked at his highlights, kind of came, you know, was a big surprise back in 2017. Like even look at like his stats here. That was his biggest year was 2017. Got called up, pitched in 29 games, uh, had an ERA of three, eight, eight. So, you know, not a bad, you know, not a bad year. Went nine and seven for the Yanks. He was a nice little surprise for them. But then, of course, like you look at the following years, not a whole lot in terms of innings pitched. Not a whole lot in terms of like he spent what got sent back down, all that fun stuff. So watching him, so obviously lefty. He's a big boy. He's six foot six. Like did they? I forget. Did they list the stat? Yeah, they list. So he's six six two twenty five. Uh, drafted by the Yankees, and he was born. Oh. This dude's younger than me. <laughs> Jeez, that's a kick in the teeth. But yeah, he's 6'6", six, but he's stiff. Like, he only throws, you know, 92, 93. Uh, nice changeup. 
you know, has you know, he has four solid pitches. He, I mean, he looks good when he's on. Um, I think his lower half could be a little looser. He's very stiff when I watch his lower half. His, like, it looks like he just sticks his foot down and just plants. Like, you have, you know, the being able, you know, the whole, the knee straightening out. Like, you, you'll see that a lot in the league leg, like, league, lead leg straightening out during the delivery. His just looks like he just puts his, puts his foot down and just comes up over the top. So it doesn't look the smoothest. But, I mean, he can also get away with it. He's a lefty, so throwing low 90s doesn't necessarily hurt as long as he, you know, locates well. Um, so that's kind of how Jordan gets by. I didn't really... I don't, I don't know. When it comes to Jordan, I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm analyzing him because, you know, we got a little parallel uh, card here. It's, well, let's see, what was it? It was 493 out of 2020. So, <laughs> nice number. I think that's on purpose. But, you know, his, I, I, I personally like to see a little more out of his legs. I think, he, I think he's still leaving some velocity on the table, but maybe he does that because he, you know, for all I know, he doesn't feel comfortable doing that, and it all has to do with your joints. But I think he could be someone who could be maybe worthy of looking at, especially being in New York. You know, they tend to create some pretty good opportunity for guys. So I think it's just a matter of him becoming consistent. And yeah, that, that's kind of how I feel about Jordan Montgomery. It's nothing, I don't really see him as being someone who's going to electric, electrify anything. Um, but I think over time he could be a pretty consistent guy based off the highlights, based off watching him pitch, you know, at least, you know, from the 2017 highlight reel, when I kind of looked at his mechanics, I, you know, that's kind of what I see, but you know, never know. Uh, maybe someone to kind of look for like a solid three or four guy, but yeah. All right. So that is our, that is my analysis. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at BP ballistics on Instagram, all one word bullpen ballistics. And yeah, feel free to support, leave a comment, how you felt about this, how you like it. Of course, I'm always open to suggestions as far as how to do things on what you would like to see, all that fun stuff. So yeah, hope you guys have a great day. Have a great night.